Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will be unboxing the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus Cardioid Condenser Microphone, whatever that bit stands for the cardioid condenser microphone. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is a microphone that I've purchased because I've really been needing just a standalone desk microphone for ages, and I've actually got a project coming up that will include me doing voiceovers and stuff, so I need a microphone so I can record those voiceovers. Originally, I was going to get the AT2020, but on further research, it turns out that AT2020 cannot be powered through the five volts a USB provides. I think it's something like 45 or 47 volts it requires, and it can only get that through a mixer, and I don't have a mixer, and I'm not spending a fortune buying a mixer just for a microphone. So I just went ahead and bought the USB one. So it came in this box, well it actually came in a huge Amazon box with this little box inside it because Amazon always overdo the packaging. Just like the logo on that side, just some stuff on the bottom, uh, more stuff on the side, that stuff on the top. Nothing on the bottom except for a squiggly line and some legal stuff. But yes, as you can see, it is apparently a 16-bit and 44.1 to 48 kHz sampling rate for detailed natural reproduction. I will just point out, I will also be setting this microphone up during this video. So, uh, yeah, those of you that want to know how to set it up, just keep watching to the end of the video and then I'll show you how I set it up because my previous microphone setup recording sort of just... It works for me, but it, I'm the only person that it works for, except those seven other people where it actually worked for them. With all of that said, let's go ahead and unbox the microphone. So here, oh, here we open up into legal stuff, legal stuff, what's this? Purchase registration card. Is this got confidential information on? Oh, that's just a one year warranty. Then like a quick user manual type thing. But I, I already know how to set up microphones, so I probably won't be using that. There's just paperwork, I'll just put those down there on the floor. Now let's go ahead and remove this foam stuff packaging. We have a very nice, judging by the smell of it, I'm going to say artificial leather bag, but I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. And then here we have the microphone itself with a silica thing in there to dry up moisture. Then we just have a bit of sponge and nothing in the bottom. So this is all that comes in the box. I will say this microphone is somewhat heavy, which is probably a good sign. Let's take it out of its bag. Oh yeah, it's an all metal construction. Not sure what type of metal, but it's all metal. Uh, as you can see, there's sort of like a design thing on it. The metal's sort of grey and it has like random dots all over it. That's not stuff on the microphone, that's actually part of its design. Uh, it tells you where the back is, so you know you're not speaking into the back. And I do believe when it's plugged in and it's receiving power, I do believe there's also a light on it. Anyway, there's the bit where you plug the USB in. On here, there's, uh, there's two, like, rolly things. Forgot the name of them. Uh, one of them is a... Uh, microphone and comm monitor. I'm not actually sure what that is to be honest. And then the other one is the volume slot for the headphones and speaking of headphones there's a headphones jack on the back of the microphone which means you can plug your headphones into there and listen to yourself in real time. So you shouldn't be speech jamming yourself and is this turned round or... No it's not turned round it's just the hole doesn't exactly line up with the back. Yeah anyway there's the microphone so just gently Put that down there. And now we have the accessories bag, which I believe contains the cable and the desk stand. So let's get into it. There is the USB. Uh, that's a USB 2.0. Well, why would you want USB 3 for a microphone? I mean, you could do, but there's no real need to have USB 3. There's a little stand that it screw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a mounting bit as well. There's a mounting bit. And then that's literally it. The... Uh, the bag is empty. I don't know if I showed you that, but it's got the Audio Technica brand name on there with the logo. Anyway, let's just put that down there with the box. And now let's unbox the let's unbox the stand first. So it comes in bubble wrap. I'm back with my homemade unboxing knife. It's made out of an old pair of shear scissors. 
cut that up there and now I can pull it out. So this is the, the stand. I don't want to damage it. Do these just pull out? Yeah, they do. I didn't want to pull them out in case I'll end up breaking them. But yeah, there's a little stand. It's a one of those screws. I forgot the name of those screws. Uh, yeah, the legs are just metal bars. This center bit here is a plastic construction. Uh, but yeah, the legs are metal and they also have little rubber feet end bits so they don't slide across the desk but it's not really that effective and now here we have the little converter bit yeah here's the adapter so what happens is I put the sorry I haven't shown you this have I so this is the microphone stand adapter bit it's got a little tensioner thing there so you can move the microphone up and down or tilt it or whatever you want I can't even remember if I showed you this close up either so I'll show you that now so as expected what you do is you take the stand just screw it into that screw there make sure it's got the firm hold on there but not too tight because I don't want to damage anything and now we take the microphone See the threaded bit on the bottom there? And now we just need to thread this into, into there. And I've just noticed this, instead of you needing to thread the microphone in, if you look underneath, there's a grip that you can turn. And if you look at the thread inside, it turns the thread inside. So that means you can just hold the microphone upside down or whatever, and then just turn the grip bit, which then threads it on. And ideally, I should have done this without the stand on because it's overbalancing it and it's causing uh, causing the thread to not go on as smoothly as expected as I'm trying to tie it on tilted. Well, I'm not anymore, but I was with this on. So then you just tighten it up until you can't tighten it up anymore. And uh, yeah, there's the microphone mounted to the adapter bit and now we just put the legs back in. And so can I? I can tilt the microphone without unscrewing it. Hang on, no. Yeah, without unscrewing it. Okay, that's interesting. But I thought I was just unscrewing it. I was just unscrewing it. Oh, right, no, okay. So what you need to do is uh, align the microphone so it's in front of you, and then hold the microphone in place while you tighten it up, and then it will be in the correct direction. And for the stand bit, you can just turn the stand even while it's screwed in because there's like a little something in there that allows it to turn. I would say bearing, but judging by the size of it, it's not going to be bearing. So I'd want the front leg forwards. I'd probably tilt the microphone back a bit as well. So tilt that up like that. There's a microphone set up ready to be spoken into. So now I need to go and plug it into my computer. But before I do that, I will just, I don't know how long the cable is. I believe some people said it was four meters long, but that would seem a bit extreme, but it might be four meters long, I'm not sure. What I can tell you is it's a fairly long cable. I don't know what people were saying when they said it's four meters long, but I'm fairly certain that is not four meters long, but it could be, I don't know. Anyway, you just take the, uh, just take this bit of the USB cable. I forgot the name of that shape USB and just plug it into the bottom there, like that. And now you are ready to go and set it up on your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, set the camera up, and then I'm going to show you how I set this microphone up. Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. I will just say I am recording this part of the video about a month after recording the unboxing, so I cannot remember anything that I was talking about before this jump cut. So I'm going to show you how to set up this microphone and then I'll do an audio test recording thing with the microphone. I will just point out this here, this is literally a piece of sponge uh, and I just have that sponge over the microphone like that, held on with an elastic band. Uh, just have it over there like that and it acts as a pop filter Filter. So if you want a cheap pop filter just get a bit of sponge and wrap an elastic band around it But for the sake of this video, I won't put this on yet So the first thing you need to do is what well, I would say put the microphone on the stand But I've already done that uh, now what you need to do is get the USB cable that came with the microphone This isn't the USB that came with the microphone the one that came with the microphone was like two or three meters long But I have a one meter cable that's the exact same connector so I just switched it out so you just want to take this weirder looking end bit and plug it into there the correct orientation and then there we go there's a microphone plugged in to the uh, sorry there's a cable now plugged into the microphone and now what you need to do is take this other USB and plug it into your computer now I would say that when you are plugging it into your computer, based on my experiences of using the microphone over this past month, it's actually better not to plug the microphone into a front, uh, like a front I.O. audio. Ideally, let me just move the tripod before I trip over it. 
ideally what you would want to do is uh, come around the back of your computer, locate a uh, USB on actually on your motherboards. It can be either USB, USB 2, USB 3, 3.1. This connector is a USB 2, therefore regardless of what you plug it into, it will still function as a USB 2. So yeah, if I just take that and plug it in directly into the motherboard, once I plug it in the correct way around, and then there you go, there is a microphone now plugged in. You see the lights come on. I don't know if you heard it or not, but my computer did make the noise of a uh, like a USB device connecting, which is good. That shows that it is connected. So now I'm going to show you how I set it up. So now I'm going to show you what you need to do on the computer side, so the software side of setting up the microphone. I'm, I'm not going to screen capture it as of yet because if you first plug this microphone in, you will not have any audio recording device attached to your computer. And if I record the screen capture, that means I need to mess about pulling the audio from the video that's been recorded on the camera and then syncing it all up. So I'm just not going to bother screen capturing it uh, but first thing you want to do is make sure the microphone is in as you can see here the microphone is plugged in we've got the blue light so now what you want to do is head over to your control panel now if you are running like Windows Vista through to Windows 10 you can get there by just pressing the Windows key which is either on the keyboard or in the bottom left of your bottom left of Windows there and then simply just type control panel you should see control panel and then click on control panel and it's opened up on my second monitor so let me just drag that across put that there okay and then once you are at the control panel like i am now uh, i would say set the view to category view because if you have that view which is large icons and that view which is small icons then just for this video uh, switch it over to category view and then once you've uh, finished watching this video you can just go back to this category view and then select whatever view you had it on previously but i'm going to leave mine on the category view for now anyway what you need to do is locate hardware and sound which is there which will then take you into another control panel window well it's actually the same window but it will take you into where you can edit and configure your hardware and sound and then we need to select sound and now for some reason if you can see that right at the very top there you can see it has automatically detected the microphone as headphones, which is incorrect. So now if I go and play audio, there will be no audio coming through my actual speakers because it will be sending the audio to the microphone. So what you want to do when it gets to this, because uh, you can't actually play audio through the microphone, so I have no idea why it detects a microphone as a speaker, or in this case headphones. So you want to scroll down, find, your find your like sound output device find the speakers that you use to output your sound uh, and then just select those in my case it's those you might have an audio mixer or something like that so it may be a different output but for me it is my speakers so what you want to do is just select your audio output and then just set that back as default the speakers that are connected to your computer whether it's through a mixer or directly connected will now work so now moving across to the recordings tab at the top of this small little window and then there you can see the microphone is detected and it's currently set as the default microphone that's because I have used this microphone before and I have set it as a default microphone since then but what you want to do is come in find the microphone that says it's the AT2020 USB plus uh, device select it and then if you want it to be your main microphone your default microphone then what you need to do is just like with the speakers but except this time with the microphone select the microphone go down and click set as default i can't actually set it as default because it is set as default but now regarding the setup of the microphone just make sure the microphone's highlighted like it is go down and select properties and then here you can change the name of the microphone if you want so if you've got multiple microphones you might want to like set it to your like main microphone or your microphone left if you've got two microphones like a left one and a right one and whatever but i'm just going to leave it as is so now what you need to do is see the tabs at the top here we need to go ahead and go to levels and then currently uh, by default the microphone is set at uh, 51 percent i don't know why it's 51 percent and not 50 but what i do is i just grab the 
slider and put it up to 100% which basically means a microphone will be at its maximum sensitivity and as you can actually see by this little gauge here as I'm speaking it is uh, it is actually picking up my voice and I'm like two feet away from it and after you've set it to 100 or whatever you feel you need yours to be set at, I personally set it at 100. Now when it comes to adjusting the microphone levels like I just showed you on the video, you will probably need to go in and like customise the level, find the best level for your needs because the, uh, that level basically is how sensitive do you want the microphone to be. So if you set it to 100% it will probably pick up pretty much every noise you make. Of course depending on how good or bad the microphone is in your case. Uh, and if you set it to zero then it probably won't pick anything up. So the uh, the microphone level is something that you will need to like tweak and go in and figure out what number setting is best for you. But I find for my use is just sticking it on 100% seems to have worked fine. But yeah, enough of that, back to the video. Then you just go down to the bottom of the window, which is there, and just click Apply and OK. Or you can just press OK immediately, because as soon as you press OK, it applies it. But people say press Apply, then OK. But in reality, either press Apply, then OK, or just press OK. And then once you've exited out of the little uh, levels window, make sure that your microphone is detecting your voice by this little gauge here. And then if it is, that's good. That means the microphone is working. And if it is working, then just click on OK, and then you can just close out of your control panel. Okay, so as you can see from the camera that I have over here, I thought the original recording test wasn't very good because the microphone was off to the side and uh, it was like echoing to do with the room having no, no sound dampening material on the walls and there will still probably be some kind of echoing because there is still no sound dampening material on the wall. But this is what the microphone sounds like about a foot in front of me. I'm talking in my normal voice, uh, roughly at the same volume that I talk in. However, I would consider the, however, I would consider what I'm saying at the moment to be slightly lower than my normal talking volume. So this is what it sounded like without the uh, sponge over the microphone. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the sponge on the microphone. Okay, the sponge is now on the microphone, as you can see from the camera recording. And I don't know what it sounds like, if it sounds a bit better, if it sounds worse, if there's no difference. I don't know, but I will just say that this audio recording that you are listening to here is the raw audio from the microphone. I've not modified it in any way. Uh, it's not being recorded using any digital enhancements, nothing like that. What you are hearing is the sounds that the microphone is picking up in the atmosphere that is around the microphone. Or, well, sound waves in the atmosphere around the microphone. Anyway, you know what I mean. The way you just saw me set up the microphone in the video just before the test, uh, that is how I've set the microphone up for this recording. So regarding the setting up, nothing has changed. Anyway, this is the audio from the test recording that I have done on the Audio Technica AT2020 USB Plus. Okay, so that that you have just watched has been the audio recording test of this microphone. Now, personally, on reviewing that, um, on reviewing the audio, if you ask me, for some reason, it seemed to be like I don't know whether it's the bass or the treble, but something sounded like it was peaking higher than what it should be therefore causing a minimal amount of distortion. So yeah, I'm not too sure on what that was. It could just be because his room is not a studio. There is literally no wall dampening, uh, no sound dampening material on any of the walls. So I don't know if it could be related to that, like related to the environment in which the microphone's in, or whether it is related to the software I, I was using to record, which was Audacity. As said in the recording, it was just straight audio recording from the microphone, no modifications done to it. I haven't even removed background noises, that's how raw it is. I've literally just recorded it, saved it as a WAV file and then just imported that into the editing software and synced all the video up with the sound. I keep looking over there because I'm currently editing the video and I've just decided to record this outro. So yes, I don't know if you are hearing the same noise that I'm hearing. Hopefully my vague enough description of what I think is wrong with the audio 
is good enough for you to understand what I'm on about and for you to hear it yourself. So if you can hear what I think I've tried to describe, but honestly I don't know, I've probably just confused you. Anyway, if you can hear that, then post a comment down in the section below. And if you have this microphone and you have a similar problem, but you know a solution, then just leave it down in the comment section below. But anyway, that has been the... Oh, look, look at this. Now, I need to get it off the stand. Hi, on, bear with me. Come on. There we go. Anyway, this has been the unboxing, setup and recording test of the Audio Technica AT 2020 USB Plus. So, if you enjoyed the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. Comment, favourite, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. And that is it for this video. So, thank you for watching and I shall speak to you in the next video.